Hi and welcome to uh, a quick demo video. Well, just an overview of what I've done on this radio. I mean, those of you that um, have seen the insides of this before will know that this is the Sony ICF 2001D. Absolutely brilliant um, receiver. Still one of the very best that you can buy. And I mean, these were probably out in the 90s, well, maybe, maybe earlier. But um, anyway, I've, I've totally refurbished this. There is a, there's one, well, there's a couple of jobs I've still got to do on it, but um, I need to wait for some parts, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So what have I done to this? Um, it's got a new LED, because the original one is pretty shocking. And the original one is down here, look. It's uh, sort of a very lightish green. So if I go from left to right here, I've got two um, two of these Murata 10.7 meg filters uh, for FM. Now, um, these are deemed to be a bit wide for the UK and Europe, but are probably fine in the States. So I've changed them for some slightly narrower filters. Uh, that's sharpened up FM very nicely, actually, and it, it allows you to sort of maybe do a bit of DX uh, if conditions are right. The other thing I've done is I've changed these two transistors. Now, these are the front end transistors in the radio. 2SK1522s. I've put 2SK1523s in, which are supposed to be the best. But uh, I've got Adele on eBay sending me some... Uh, 1524s which he says are, are better for static um but they're, they're more resistant to static the uh, little red thing there is a ceramic trimmer and that um that was causing problems in the sink and usb circuit in fact it killed it dead so um something to watch out for if you've got one of these without sync and in behind here you can see the um the mass of capacitors I've changed. I mean, like, there's probably more than that, but there's a lot of capacitors in this thing. Do they need changing? Mm, it tends to be the light blue ones that need changing. It's very rare that the other ones fail, but being the age of the set, I've just done them all. I've got them here in stock, so I've, I've done them. Um, so let me think. Other mods I've done. So I've done the light. I've done the LED. Um, let's just zoom back out. I've done the LED. Uh, I've, well, I've cleaned all the switches, lubricate, lubricated, put, put some fader lube in the sliders because you've got RF gain down here. And uh, volume, I've also greased that up to make it slide very nicely with some um, plastic grease. Um, I'm trying to think what else I've done now. Oh, I've done this. Which um, is a, is a, is a little known mod really. This is L three o five, and I've just lifted one pin of that because that does attenuate. Um, it does attenuate long wave, medium wave. It attenuates the lower frequencies, and the reason for that is to stop the um, front end overloading with a very strong broadcast station. Well, we haven't got any strong broadcast stations on AM anymore, so lifting that out gives you a couple more S points. So well worth doing, and uh, it can be stuck back in because I've left the leg on it and just put a bit of heat shrink over it. So if if I decided to, I could just solder that straight back on the board. But a good little mod that, and it does work, as you'll see in a minute. Um, da, 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 I think that's about it so far. So that's some um, fired up, and I've got it on. Um, I've got it on Radio Four at the moment on um, long wave. So, I mean, look at the signal the level light, on that. If I turn the light off, somewhere in that, end points will form the corners of an end sided shape. That's maximum. And we don't know the if answer, I even though we don't know the exact switch answer, in the attenuator, it's still exactly maximum. There's a local DX well. switch here. That's a tough one because actually that's a so it's working very well. Like it. I really did like RTE it. Yeah, Ireland. I don't want to do it all Maximum. Yeah, it just felt good. And so I put like the um, good, but I definitely couldn't, shouldn't um, until I get when I say tenure, I'm just switching in the local DX switch definitely. down here. Well, don't everybody on operation. So that's on DX. 
Sorry, that's on local. That's on DX. I have got my uh, antenna tuner in line as well. It doesn't make a lot of difference on long wave. So let me find a station on medium wave in there. So we are on medium wave, and um, it's pretty much full, full whack on there. I put the attenuator in; it just knocked one light off. Quick scat through that a minute. Absolutely full. Really, really good. It's a weaker station. It's better. Right, let's try some um, SSB a minute. See if we can find out whether this... Um, SSB is now working because it wasn't before. So let's go um, say 14250. So we'll go USB. Let's see if we can find another one. Noisy on channel. And the band here. Try uh, 40 meters. Uh, let me think. Seven one zero zero. Uh, lower sideband. Bands a bit better. Yeah. 
Well, that's working uh, very well. Bit of a pilot there. Very good. I think that's working. Well, right, FM now. So there's no aerial connected for FM at all at the moment. What is that? What is that? That's below our broadcast band. So 88.1 is our first station we should see. Something else there, 78.7. Interesting, I'm gonna have to have a look at that. 88.1 we're looking for. Come and shout at us. How would that do? So you can see, um, it sounds great. It really does sound great. It's locking on the station's fine. Yeah, working very good. I do. It's a, it's a distinction which is more a matter of emphasis than an absolute distinction. Because if you look at the So that's FM, we're um, working, not working fine. Uh, let's try airband then. So we scan around on airband. I don't know if we'll be able to get anything. on airband. I say I haven't got an aerial app. Let me see if I can rig an aerial in it. I've just stuck the long wire on it and it's a bit more It's not great for airband this really, steps are all wrong. It's 25 kilohertz steps look. Never play when you want one. No, nothing on airband, that's typical, isn't it? And last of all, let's try the light. Let's turn that volume down. So, um, the light. <laughs> I think you can see that's uh, a lot, um, a lot better than what it was. Oh, the other thing we were going to try was sync. So let's um, let's get an AM station up. 
And let's go to Roy. 11, 9, 9, 9. There's a station around 12 megs usually. So there we are, we've got a station. It's not great to be fair. Just try sync. So sync lights come on. So if I rotate the control, I should better get it to lock on that's upper. Yeah. Lower. Upper. So that's a success. Sync also working, so that's it all done. Um, I've got a couple other things coming. Uh, Adele, as I say, is sending me two um, two fats to put in here. Uh, just these two, the front end. Uh, one is for the ferrite. The other one is um, is pretty much for the I think the aerial socket. And uh, one of them, if you get static, one of them takes a hit. Uh, one other modification I have done was I put some. Put uh, a little miniature SMD diode in there. Look, now that was done on the later sets to give um, static protection, but not on the earlier ones. People stick quite large, you know, one end four, one four eights in there, but they usually stick two or four in, and they look pretty ugly. So that's um, you can't really see that. If I zoom back out, you wouldn't know that that was on there really. But that's just giving me some static protection. So as I say, got two of the um, two of these fats coming. Uh, also a ceramic filter for um, AM, AM wide because wide is a bit too wide on this, and uh, narrowing it down makes makes for better DXing on on AM. So we're going to do that as well. And uh, Adele's also sending me an audio upgrade kit, so uh, I shall be doing that on video making a video of how to do that using Adele's kit. So that should be very interesting. Thanks for watching and uh, catch you again soon. Bye for now.